Hi, welcome to the Proclamation 2021 State Review Panel Training. This is Module 3, Understanding the Texas Pre-Kindergarten Guidelines. My name is Selena Valdez. I am a Director in the Early Childhood Division here at TEA. The Texas Pre-Kindergarten Guidelines were revised in 2015 and were implemented in the 2016-17 school year. The revised guidelines provide a means to align pre-kindergarten programs with the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills. They are sequenced to follow child development and give teaching strategies for each of the guidelines. State review panels are required to evaluate all instructional materials submitted for review to determine if the pre-K guidelines are covered in the instructional materials intended for student and teacher use. The Texas Pre-K Guidelines are organized by domains. There are 10 domains. Each domain is then divided by skill areas, which include the outcomes for each of those skill areas. Examples of child behaviors and examples of instructional strategies are included for each of the outcomes. Here are the 10 domains that are in the Pre-K Guidelines. Each domain is indicated with Roman numerals. One, social and emotional development. Two, language and communication. Three, emergent literacy reading. Four, emergent literacy writing. Five, mathematics. Six, science. Seven, social studies. Eight, fine arts. Nine, physical development. And 10, technology. Included here is a page from the Pre-K Guidelines. At the top, you'll notice that this is Domain 1, so this is Social and Emotional Development. Within each domain, the separate skills are listed with an alphabetic indicator. So on this example, we have uh, Skill A, which is Self-Concept Skills. There are six domains that include the four columns you see here. The first column by around 48 months of age are the outcomes that are typically used in three-year-old pre-K programs. The second column, end of pre-kindergarten year outcomes, are the outcomes that are expected at the end of the pre-kindergarten year, um, and this is for four-year-old programs. The third column gives examples of child behaviors. These are detailed descriptions of expected behaviors across multiple skill domains that should be observed in four to five-year-old children from the beginning to the end of their pre-kindergarten experience. The fourth column gives examples of instructional strategies. This portion of the guidelines provides strategies that the teacher can implement to support child outcomes. There are four domains that do not include the column by around 48 months of age, as there is no research to guide the inclusion of this category in those four domains. So the four domains are science, social studies, fine arts, and technology. It is important to note that each domain begins with an introduction. The introduction provides information about the domain, including an overview, best practices, and reasons why the domain is important for young children. Each skill area also includes an introduction paragraph, and this um, introduction paragraph may include a definition of the skill or a general overview. The end of pre-kindergarten year outcomes are the outcomes that are expected at the end of a pre-kindergarten program for four-year-old children. The outcomes are organized by skill area and they typically begin with the word child followed by a verb. For example, child shows, child uses, or child engages. The end of pre-kindergarten year outcomes are numbered with a Roman numeral followed by a letter and then a number. In the example here, the outcome is 3A1. The Roman numeral indicates the domain. The alphabetic indicator refers to the skill area within the domain. 
and the number indicates the outcome. So the outcomes are numbered sequentially within each skill area. In this example here, the outcome is from domain three, which is emergent literacy reading. It is skill A, which is motivation to read, and it is the first outcome in this skill area. So let's take a look at a couple of other examples. In this example, the end of year pre-K outcome is from domain four, which is emergent literacy writing. The skill area is C, which is conventions and writing. And this is the fifth outcome in this skill area. So the outcome reads 4C5, child begins to experiment with punctuation when writing. This next example, um, the end of year pre-K outcome is from domain one, so that is social and emotional development. The skill area is B, which is self-regulation. And in this particular example, we have a sub-skill. So the sub-skill here is indicated by a number. And that means that now, since we have the number indicating the sub-skill, the outcome will now be indicated by a lowercase alphabetic indicator. So the sub-skill here is two emotional control. And then we have the lowercase alphabetic indicator B. So the outcome reads 1B, 2B. Child can communicate basic emotions, feelings. So it's important to note here that this is the only domain and the only um, skill area that has subskills. So social emotional development domain in the skill area of self-regulation will be the only place where you, where you will see sub skills in the Texas Pre-K guidelines. Embedded within the guidelines are instructional techniques and child behaviors that are specific to English learners. These sections are indicated by this book icon and are meant to provide further guidance when working with English learners during instruction in English. It should be noted, however, that the Texas Pre-K guidelines are meant for all pre-kindergarten children, regardless of the child's home language. The additional instructional strategies and child behaviors indicated by the book icon are supplements to the Texas Pre-Kindergarten guidelines. So to summarize, um, the Pre-K guidelines are aligned with the TEKS. They follow child development. The guidelines are organized by 10 domains. Each domain includes skill areas, and then the outcomes are numbered sequentially in each area. There are four columns of information for each outcome. However, four domains do not have the by around 48 months column. All of the domains and skill areas have an introductory paragraph with important background information. The guidelines include instructional techniques specific to English learners that are indicated by the book icon. Thank you for your time. This concludes Module 3, Understanding the Pre-Kindergarten Guidelines.